This is Hillbillies in the Bush, and today I'd like to show you guys a couple tricks uh, that I found out uh, on these two kettles. For one, this is a uh, zebra billy can. This is a 12 centimeter. It was given to us by a good friend of ours up north. Brother, we really appreciate it. Uh, we've used it a lot. In fact, the wife's getting ready to buy one uh, for her kit so that uh, she can do some camping in the spring. Uh, this is a GSI kettle that we purchased and totally love it. Uh, it's a little bit thin. Uh, it's lightweight. It's stainless steel. Uh, it does heat up water real fast. I mean, it, it heats up water quick. Uh, but I love this little kettle. I found some problems with these. Uh, so I figured out how to work around those problems. And uh, one of the problems is Notice how this is flat. Well, they do that probably for keeping things condensed and everything else. Any of you guys that have used these and you hang them over the fire or even set them over the fire, you'll notice if you go putting your fingers on this to take this lid off, you're going to get burnt. Stainless heats up all the way when this water is boiling. The whole thing is hot. So, this is kind of tough to get the lid out. And I've seen guys, and even I've done it, stick your knife in here and you're trying to balance that out and then it'll fall down in the ground and get dirty and everything else same thing with this they designed these things up which I love the locking handle on here I'm trying to figure out a way to make these lock so that they don't flip over on you uh, the locking handle on here is an awesome idea they bent these tabs in to keep everything condensed so that the length don't get too big the problem with that is again if you touch this you'll probably get burnt but notice how your lids touching that right there to stick a knife in there and try to pry it up out of there, you're doing something goofy. Your knife slips out, falls out. It just, it's, it's, a, it's, I wouldn't call it a design flaw. I could probably spread these out and pinch this out, but, but these, these hangers would grow out past the pot, which I don't like. Let me show you what I figured out. I'm gonna set this one aside, and you can see I got me a little marker right here. I'm gonna set this one right here. For one, when you guys hang these on the fires, always make sure that your, your T rings are in line with your handle. That makes it easier to get your lid on and off while it's hanging on the fire. What I come up with is uh, looking around and trying to figure out how to get that daggone lid off of there easy without it falling in the dirt every time. Uh, I come up with this right here. It's a simple notch and a stick. You got a beveled edge right there. I realized one of the problems with getting this lid off is you can't pick it straight up and get it out because of the way the, it hits these corners. You've got to tilt the lid and bring it out. So by putting this notch in here and a, and a notch on the end like that, you can actually go right in, you can hook it, you can pick it up, pull it right out, lickety split. And it's actually, you can probably, you can do it, it's so easy, it works so well, you, can, you know, I'm doing it from both sides. Uh, and you gotta love something that works just like that right there. Uh, it's something quick and easy to throw together in the woods, you grab a hold of it, pick it out, and you're going to good to go. You can put your lid back on. And there it is. Uh, okay, let's set this one aside. Let me show you what I figured out with this zebra billy. Okay, same thing with it. You've got a recessed area. The notch has to be a little bit different. So on the flip side of this notch, this is what I come up with. Now you'll notice the back side of this is flattened and it's got a angled up there. Same thing. You stick this in like this. Grab a hold of it, you can pull it right out. Now lots of times I'll grab a fork stick because a fork stick seems to work a little better. You can stick a fork stick in there if you flatten it and it works good too. But you got to have something to come in there and get a hold of this lid. As you can see when you try to pick straight up what happens. Let me hold that lid up or the handle. But if you put something in like that, now I'm going to figure out a way to lock this handle down guys because I want this to stay in a locked position. There's a couple different things I've thought of doing. Either peening that these little uh, uh, rivets or something else that I got in mind but I'm going to figure out a way to get this to stay up because if you're just setting this in your coals you know if you're setting this in your coals you want this lid to remain upright so it can be somewhat cool it's still going to get hot but if you got a little pair of gloves on it ain't no big deal but uh, you can grab the lid pull it out put the lid back on don't have to worry about falling out. You don't have to worry about sticking your knife edge in there to try to do it. As long as you keep this somewhat centered, the lid comes out good. A couple tricks I wanted to show you guys. Now there's one more trick I wanted to show you. Notice how this handle's real wide. That creates a problem when you're cutting, when you've got a uh, fork stick that you're using to hang your pots on over another, uh, over a crossbar or whatever. 
by this being this one being you know your uh, by this one being your wire handle it works great on your fork sticks but by this one be a wide handle it's a little bit of a pain in the butt there's a little thing you can do the little fix that go out and get you one of these little things right here it's a little cheap carabiner uh, it's aluminum I don't even know it costs probably I have no idea under a buck probably uh, and it's a little cheapy that you can get what you do is you can clip this right onto here now all of a sudden you've got that wire now all of a sudden you got a wire a wire handle right here that your sticks will hook into and work right or if you so desire to use the toggle method same thing works there and you know what the toggle method is uh, you bring this up you stick your toggle through uh, or you actually stick your string through and you got the same thing oops let me do that right uh, if you flip this up stick your string through and bring your toggle up now you can hang it and uh, oops let me make this forward here a little bit now you can hang it hang your pot works great but uh, this little carabiner it don't weigh nothing as far as that goes uh, you know you can you can this stays clipped right onto this if you want to uh, the material you see in the background uh, it's going to be some bags the wife's going to make me. It's real heavy uh, ca canvas type material with a somewhat waterproof backing, but I'll show a video on that. Just keep in mind, guys, this stick right here, you can you can throw it in your pack, or you can just make it real quick in the woods. And uh, all you have to do is for getting your, getting your lids on and off, or your GSI Kittle. This one is a little more of a pain in the butt, but once you do this, piece of cake. I'm going to sign off, try to keep this one short, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all your comments and views. Uh, and all the new subscribers, uh, stay tuned for more tips and tricks on different things. Uh, these are two awesome kits that I highly recommend. They've been used extensively. Uh, they are just, especially this Billy, and I love my little kittle. Uh, I, I probably pack both of these because it just, with the boys, if you're soloist, this here is good to go by yourself. But when you got three people on there or four people, this won't make enough water to give y'all some tea, or this won't make enough water to give y'all some tea. Or if you do, you'll have to immediately fill them back up. So anyway, but I love this. I highly recommend these. And uh, thanks for watching. Till next time, we'll see y'all later.